Hello everyone, what day is it today? It's actually October 30th, the day before Halloween, and I do not have a costume prepared at all. I haven't even put any thought into what I wanted to be for this Halloween. It's not like I have any plans, but I thought it'd be really fun to go through my closet and see what kinds of stuff I could put together for a random last minute costume. So obviously this video won't have a lot of thought put into it. Literally just going to see what I have in here that I could put together. Okay, I already had an idea of what I wanted to wear because I did wear this outfit last year to the Renaissance Fair. So I got this skirt. Oh, shoot. How could I get through? Hmm. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh. And then I have this top. It's like a, a lace doily kind of top. I got this red bandana from my drawer. So I'm going to put this together and you'll see. All right, everyone, here is my first spooky outfit. So this top, I feel a little restrained. I cannot lift my arms up when I'm wearing this top, but this is from Forever 21 I got last summer. This skirt I've had forever. And I told you I already wore this to the Renaissance Fair last year, so I already knew what I had in my closet. This is for the Renaissance Pirate look, and my inspiration was the Bratz Pirate line. I think I kind of nailed it just a little bit. Okay, I think this would be a good outfit if I was like in a rush to go to a last minute Halloween party. <sighs> That's not gonna happen. <laughs> you know, this actually belongs to my sister. She's never worn this before. Cause like what really occasion can you wear this to? But um, I'm thinking 80s workout outfit, workout teacher. Okay, these are like the brightest colored leggings I have, unfortunately. So I'm gonna try to just match these two together. Three, two, one. I forgot I was even trying to do a transition. I was supposed to go like, pop. Yeah, that didn't work out. Okay, here's the look. I only have black scrunchies, unfortunately, but it'll do. It'll keep the hair out of my face while I'm doing my intense workout. Okay, we got outfit number two. I feel kind of like um, an 80s Barbie doll that was dressed up for a workout. If Chloe Ting was born in the 80s. Okay, I had to take off that hair tie because it was giving me the hugest headache. Miss Jojo Siwa, I don't know how you do it. I kind of want to use a beret for something. A few years ago, I went as French toast to school and you know, I just wore a black dress. I wore this beret and then I had a picture of toast on my dress. So one person got it. My classmate was like, are you French toast? I was like, yeah, I am. I have like a schoolgirl skirt, but I don't really think I want to be a schoolgirl for Halloween. Okay, I have a vision in my head. I wear this and maybe like a collared shirt and I'll use like some random scarf to put across my chest. Can you guess already what I'm thinking of? Okay, I found this sash that I had in my closet and I got these buttons too. So this one has some characters on it. I got the Gudetama badge. I got the anime badge. Hey, is this supposed to be this? It's it. Is this supposed to be this way? I never got to experience being a Girl Scout when I was younger. So I never knew what it was like to sell those cookies. I mean, I'd rather eat the cookies and sell them, of course. I think the outfit by itself is kind of a reach, but maybe because I put my authentic badges on it that it will look more like a Girl Scout. Hmm? Okay, to be honest, I think this outfit looks pretty terrible. But at least I put in the effort. I pinned all of these by myself. I buttoned the blouse by myself. So, yeah. So far, I think the second outfit was my favorite just because I really like that green pop of color. Okay, next outfit. Okay, I don't know what other outfit I could put together, honestly. 
imagine if this was trying to be a tutorial like last minute Halloween costumes like people would actually have this stuff in their closet <laughs> I wore this in one of my videos before. I'm Christmas in July. I don't know if anyone would get this. I probably wouldn't even get this because this is not the US flag. <laughs> but it's red, white, and blue. So we have my 4th of July flag and my reindeer antlers. Obviously, it's Christmas in July. Okay, now I think this is probably my favorite outfit. I would probably wear this to a Halloween party. Like, it's a little sexy, you know? And it's funny too. Mm, I think I know. I think I know I could put something together. Now I gotta say goodbye to my bikini body. Oh, this has never even been worn. There's still a tag on it. Okay, one second. Let me step out of frame. This, you could say you're Michael Jackson from Thriller. I think he wears this in the Thriller music video. I think so. But if we need to spice it up a bit, I have another idea. I'm gonna use this. I know, I know, I'm a genius. And I have some cute sunglasses. Okay, so like 50s motorcycle kind of girl. Like the background character from Greece. There we go. That's my costume. The background character from Greece. Because I don't have the pink lady jacket and I don't have a black leather jacket, but I'm, I'm in the background. Okay, I think now at this point, I don't know what other kind of costume I can make. Honestly, like, looking at this, what could I put together? I really don't know. I fit- Ooh! <laughs> I got one, I got one. Okay, I'm gonna take this out. And... I'm gonna take these out. I think the last time I went trick-or-treating, honestly, was when I was in ninth grade. So I was 14 years old when I stopped trick-or-treating. <laughs> and it wasn't really by choice. Like, the next year, I was invited to a Halloween party, so I couldn't go trick-or-treating then. Anyway, I still think trick-or-treating is fun. Whatever. And I also don't mind if people older go trick-or-treating. Like, go ahead, wear a costume. As long as you're wearing a costume. And, yeah, I'm gonna give you all my candy, definitely. Okay. Final touches. I'm a pumpkin farmer. <laughs> Literally. How come this won't stay on my head? Oh. I thought my head was too big or something. Here we go. I was just I was just gonna wear a black shirt underneath, but I have to represent my pumpkin farm. So there we go. Yeehaw. Also, when I went around last year, I wasn't trick-or-treating, but I was just walking around with all these other people just to look at the houses because our neighborhood has the best Halloween decorations. It's honestly amazing. So I was just walking around and <laughs> people still thought I was a kid. So they gave me candy, even though I wasn't going up to their door. I did not knock knock and I didn't say trick or treat, but they were sitting out on their porch and they wanted me to come up to their porch and gave candy to me. So. That was nice. I guess I, I still have a youthful look. I should stand outside of my house and make everyone think I'm selling pumpkins. They'll believe me in this outfit. I think I'm having way more fun than I actually thought I'd be having coming up with random Halloween costumes because oh, Halloween is my favorite, 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 favorite holiday. This one is going to be a little bit of a cop out. You'll see. You'll see. So like I said in the beginning, I didn't really have an idea going into this video what I was going to do. I didn't plan beforehand what my costumes were going to be. It's just all going with the flow. We'll see. Will this video even turn out nice? Okay. <laughs> I can't hold anything. This one, I could tell people I am different things. I could either be Left Shark from Katy Perry's stage, or I could be Mommy Shark, or Daddy Shark, or Baby Shark. <laughs> Harry Potter! So this isn't really like an outfit that I could find in my closet because this is obviously like from what like Party City or something. So I got this and it came with the accessories. Okay these actually aren't mine though. These are my sister. She's like the huge Harry Potter fan. I like Harry Potter too. I love the Harry Potter... what's it called? Harry Potter Weekends on Freeform. Formerly ABC Family. They love that but I never read the books. Sorry. So we got the time turner right here. Okay, and we have the final touch, which is the Harry Potter glasses. 
<sighs> there, <laughs> Harry Potter. Oh my god, I'm blind. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Okay, I think I have one more costume. <laughs> Now I'm Daniel Radcliffe when he wore a wig. I'm sorry, but when I first watched the movie, I honestly thought they made Daniel Radcliffe wear a wig and made him change his voice so he could be moaning Myrtle. Like, why make the characters look so similar? I don't think I would recommend this for a Halloween party because you would honestly get so hot, you'd burn up in this, and you're like dancing, you're drinking, having fun, and then you'll be sweating underneath this uh, onesie. So no, I don't think this would go for a Halloween party. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, and then my own legs. <laughs> How many outfits was that so far? Okay, um, I still think Christmas in July is my number one pick, and then the 80s workout is my second pick. Third, probably pirate. <laughs> Wait, I forgot, I even did pumpkin farmer. I love myself sometimes. Okay. Okay, so vote in the comments which one was your favorite, just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's it. I wanted to put more Halloween costumes in this video, but I don't know what else to put together for Halloween costumes, so happy Halloween!